Hello and what's up Madlang people! Unboxing time! And uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, uh, welcome to VRP Tube. And let's open it now! Oh, wow! Two capos! Cool! And it, it's got plectrum. I already bought before, but a different one from this. Yeah. Um, I forgot what's the name, but it's called Licato Light Capo. And this one is a uh, Licato LGC one. So, perhaps we're gonna open just one and leave this. And maybe we can give this us. A giveaway so let's start with this one first so it's got plectrum and here it is nice it's quite strong and it's comfortable to your hand um, nice shape and we'll put this to the test there you go I'm back so we're gonna be using this um, Fender DG60CE and I know a lot of you who are gonna be using a couple would always attempt to try the famous Wonderwall <laughs> It's a really nice couple. Right, we'll test it with the classical guitar. I'm back again. Um, obviously, the classical guitar, the neck is wider than the regular acoustic guitar. This is Valencia um, VC 104 EPK. And let's see if this Licato um, capo will try and fit the classical guitar. This is the problem with capo. Um, it's fallen a bit short, although it still reached the bottom string. But if I look at it, there, can you see it? It's a little bit short, and it touches the the last string. There, you can see it. It's pressing it but um, I think it's got to do with that one there it's already touching the top end oh, it still works um, it, if you look at it it's sort of short but for some reason, it still works. Mm. 
No, it, you won't be able to do it on the uh, upper part. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I think this is more for um, acoustic and electric guitar. So we'll just skip the classical guitar and normally you wouldn't really put capo on a classical guitar because you'll be playing the classical guitar more on classical music as well as um, jazz. We'll use this for electric guitar where we know already it will fit but let's just see how it looks, how it sounds. Okay guys, um, this is my DIY um, Strat type electric guitar and I call it Starry Night and got the VRB um, decal sticker there. Uh, right, back to the capo. Here we go. And let's put it. See, plenty of room. Right. It's really good capo. Um, you can easily just uh, move it from one fret to another. And just to show you my old capo, there you go. This one's at the other yo. And you loosen it and tighten it through this one. So you can't easily move the capo from one fret to another with this one uh, it's lightweight it's small there you go um, their length in terms of this one I think that the Adario is longer this is the Adario in terms of the capacity of that one it's got more of the rubber than the other one because of this round thing but the advantage for this is that you can easily just clip, move, or grip, and then move. So, this is quite a good uh, ergonomic design that compensates, I think, when you clip it. Um, didn't have problems with the tuning, especially with my acoustic guitar. With the electric, I think the strings for that one needs changing. But um, yeah, I would really recommend this uh, capo uh, for pro and for beginners. It's a really good capo. And see you again soon, guys. Thank you for watching and get blessed. Bye bye. Oh, by the way, we have been um, tried and opened the plectrum. Let's see how many plectrums we got. Um, medium. I think it's all medium. Yeah. Heavy. There's one heavy. So four. Thin. This one's thin. Uh, two thins. One heavy. And three medium. So you got six altogether. Lovely.